all right so hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll specifically talk about something that we are all afraid to do well yes how do you delete an apex class in production right it could be apex class it could be any other metadata that might refrain your system from behaving the way it should but yes let's take an example of an apex class and see how do you delete it so what i have here is i've set an org which is my free developer edition org and i've connected it to vs code and for example let's say i just go ahead and create an apex class right before doing that let's go to our org and let's go to apex classes right and now let's go back to vs code and create a new apex class right i'll say create apex class the class i created by mistake right so let's just say save and here I'll just add one dummy method public static void handle my mistake right so let's say I just want to deploy this class to my org cool and let's assume that this is the class that we want to get deleted from our production environment so I'll just wait for this to deploy so class I created by mistake should start showing up on my org. So if I refresh, I should be seeing my class I created, right? So this is the class that I want to delete, right? So there are different ways you can do it. You can do it through Ant, you can do it through some other tools. But I, what I'll be using here is the Workbench tool. So let's go to Workbench and let's type in, let's log in. So this would be considered as a production environment. And uh, you can also switch to Sandbox if you have something to delete from Sandbox. So I'll say production, I'll say login. And this will connect my gmail.com sms to org with workbench, right? This is my login, right? Now what I want to do is I want to go to migration and I want to say deploy. So in order to be able to delete any kind of uh, stuff from production, you have to create something that's called destructive changes, right? How do you do that? So basically you'll have to upload a zip file. Now what should be the content of that zip file? Let's talk about that. So the zip file would basically be a folder that would contain two things. One, that would be an empty package.xml file. So a package.xml for a project looks something like this. But what we'll do is let's say I'll go here. I'll just copy and let me go back to desktop and let's create a folder. I'll say let's go inside this folder and paste this package.xml. Right. So to paste the package.xml, I'll say reveal in finder. I'll copy the file and then let's go back to untitled folder and say paste and I'll just make one more copy of this and I'll name this one destructive changes right with a capital C cool and now I'll just open these two files on VS code I'll go to package.xml first and I'll just get rid of every item here right so package.xml is basically nothing but everything that you want to deploy into the system so I'll just leave it empty because I don't have anything specific to deploy I want to delete something right so this is my package.xml and next what I want to do is I want to open destructive changes.xml so I'll just go destructive changes xml and here I'll get rid of everything else but we'll keep the identifier or metadata identifiers that I want to delete so I'll keep apex class and under members I'll say class I created by mistake right the name should match the class name so this is the name let me just copy it and let's paste it here just to avoid any kind of issues so save cool so this is my destructive changes file now if you have some other metadata you can create a type uh, type type attribute and expose that metadata here and that would be considered as a metadata that has to be deleted right once your destructive changes xml is ready and your package.xml is ready what we can do is we can go to terminal so this is for ios you can do the same for um, uh, windows machine you can just create a zip file right so to create a zip file i'll just say zip hyphen r hyphen x destructive okay i have to first go to the correct repository right so let's go to desktop right and let's go to i'll just name this a single word so that this does not create a problem right and let's say cd changes to delete cool i'm on the right repository and now i want to create a zip file out of it so i'll say destructive zip dot zip put everything in from that's inside this folder 
enter so my destructive zip file has been created right and what i want to do is okay this uh, this is a uh, typo but that's okay let's go back to workbench now and i'll choose this particular file as my destructive zip cool let's upload and we have to mention that this is a single package right if you want to do a test that you know whether everything is right or wrong you can use the check only button but here we want to go ahead and deploy it and delete the file so i'll just leave the check only check unchecked and say next so this will prompt me that you know the changes will be permanent changes to the organization i'm like yeah okay go ahead so i'll say deploy and this should run a job and we'll get the results here let's see what happens so this says success is equal to true and component success is class i created by mistake has been deleted deleted is equal to true right and if i now go back to my apex classes and i refresh my page i should not see my apex class anymore right so that is how you can delete a metadata or rather a apex class from production uh, provided that happens someday or you have to do it right so this is one way of doing it you can also do it through other uh, uh, tools that are for um, deploying or change set management you can use other tools but i feel uh, workbench is pretty straightforward and gives you the right kind of errors when you when you if, if you find a false or you know success scenario that does not work you can take a look at what went wrong and re-establish the uh, folder deletion right so just a quick recap we created a package.xml file we took a sample from our existing project you can pick this up from internet also and then we copied this file and created a file that's called destructive changes with a capital c yes this has to be the same name right and there were just two items in our zip file where package.xml was empty and destructive changes contained the metadata that we wanted to delete and then we created a zip file out of it and we uploaded the zip file into workbench and we said deploy so that deleted our apex class cool all right so that's all for this lecture i'll see you in the next one bye